Hey, what's going on, crew? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the crew, do me a quick favor hit both the like and the subscribe button so you can get subscribed and notified for more videos just like this. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. So let's just jump right into this video. So I have been using the TCL A30 for some time now. It's been about almost a week or something like that. And this device is actually pretty cool. But one of the things that I had read originally on the website of Amazon, which was about the A30, was that it was at the 1080 panel. But they actually went back and corrected it and said 720 instead. But it, that was one of the main selling points of me getting this device. Actually, they did edit that out and make it 720 again. So. Now the real specifications are on the website, so I thought that was pretty cool, but it kind of was deceptive because when I had read it originally, I actually thought it had a 1080 panel, but this thing has a 720 by 1440 5.5 inch device and it's actually a good one-handed device it has 293 for the ppi as well and it's a really good solid device for one-handed operation now it's still you know in the budget price point actually entry level price point 109 dollars depending on where you can get it you can get it cheaper or something like that but this device right here is going to be a solid device for pretty much anybody and I, I actually was surprised about this thing minus the 1080 panel and the fact that it does have a 720 to the panel, which is actually HD plus, it didn't really bother me too much, right? I mean, this device was had a nice form factor in the hand, had a nice build, removable battery. It does have rear um, portrait, which we'll get into in a little bit more detail. It also does have a nice bokeh effect when you do portraits in the front, which I'll show you as well. But what I really do like about this device, it has that P22 processing chip, which actually kind of flies with this device, coupled with three gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of internal storage. So I was pretty impressed overall. When I was using this device, I didn't really have any issues whatsoever with it. And it actually was surprising to me. I actually wanted to hate it, right? I wanted to not like it because it had that, that 720 display. But after using it for some time, I did notice that the screen wasn't the brigade, the best in the world. But one of the things I like about the screen is it does get plenty dim as it does get bright. So basically what I'm trying to say is that when you're at nighttime, when you want to, you know, saying not harm your eyes, when you're getting ready to go to bed or whatever, this thing does have a really nice low brightness level. It also does have a high brightness level. So it does have pretty decent outdoor angles and stuff like that. But we'll, I'll show you guys that in a minute. But the back of here is actually going to track fingerprints with that matte not a matte material, but it's like a plastic cover on the back of there, removable battery, 3000 milliamp hour battery on this thing with facial recognition as well. So there's no fingerprint sensor on this thing. But one of the things I did like is it does record in 1080p on the front and rear. And it also does give you slow motion at 12 frames, 30 frames, or 24 frames per second, which is kind of cool. And you know what I'm saying? The viewing angles aren't the best in the world, right? You know what I'm saying? This is gonna be an entry level device, but 293 pixels per inch, 75.3 screen to body ratio, a Sahai Dragon Trail glass, which is actually pretty decent. It's not the best in the world, right? There will be a glare on there. Most of the time it's gonna be pretty decent, but one of the things about the Sahai uh, glass is that, the Dragon Trail glass is that it won't scratch as, um, as much as uh, most screens so it's, it's really sturdy it's almost the equivalent of like a corning gorilla glass but it's just like made from another brand one of the competitors of the gorilla glass so you know what i'm saying this device is pretty decent it does have micro sd card expansion micro sd sh micro sd xc and up to 512 gigabytes of ram so you can actually buy external memory on this thing and you can expand the storage on this thing as well with the, the software that's running out of this thing is going to be the Android 11 uh, processing, you know, operating system as well. So I definitely like the fact that this thing does have Android 11 right out of the box, right? So I definitely was surprised about that. Also, the camera features are going to be pretty nice. We actually do get uh, OIS, optical image stabilization on this thing, which is kind of cool, along with slow motion, as well as pro camera mode. So I definitely like the fact that they did actually do a pretty decent job and the pictures and video came out pretty good, right? It wasn't like 
the best in the entire world, but it was pretty stable. So I'll show you some pixel samples, picture samples of that. But what I really do like about this device is it's affordable and it's not, you know, the, it's not the best in device, most the best device or most feature packed device ever. But it is kind of surprising that we do get some a lot of these features that we don't see on other devices. So I did like the fact that this thing had a really decent processing chip in it to power it. Three gigabytes of RAM. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is the video coming from the TCL A30 on the front facing camera, five megapixel. Let me know how the microphone sound and this, let me know how the stability is on this camera, guys. One of the things I actually was surprised was the image quality, even in the dusk time when the sun was going down, like zooming wasn't the best in the entire world, right? Because those ducks did get blurry when we zoomed in. But even at dusk, you do get nice front and rear shots as long as you have the phone in focus and let the phone actually focus in on what you're looking at. You will get some pretty decent results with the 8 megapixel rear, 5 megapixel front. And like I said before, I was just really impressed with the overall size in the hand. I was able to use this device with one handed operation and I could pretty much, you know, pick it up with one hand, you know, uh, look at it, scroll around on the screen with one hand. I could use two hands with this device, right? 5.5 inches. So depending on how, you know, big or small your hands are, you will be pretty impressed with the size of this thing. And if you're a type of person who likes compact devices and things of that nature. But when it comes to the sensors on this device on board, we are getting the accelerometer, proximity sensor, light sensor, and gravity sensor. So it is actually missing the gyroscope barometer, altimeter, and things like that, and the fingerprint sensor and things of that nature. But one of the things I could honestly say about this device is that it does have a really decent processing chip, the P22. It has Bluetooth 5.0 as well. It also does have the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network, so it doesn't have that 5.0. So that I got assessed this to actually cut costs. It also does have a micro uh, USB connection, which I didn't, you know, wasn't the most um, you know what I'm saying it wasn't the most up-to-date in the world but it did suit the bill for the price and obviously like I said before we are getting some really decent sensors on this so in, as long for the GPS we're getting the GPS module along with the a GPS module inside of here so you can get some pretty decent you could use this thing for for navigation or getting from destination to and place to place and things of that nature and like I said when Using this, I was pleasantly surprised. It didn't get on high graphics and we weren't able to perform on medium graphics or anything, but we did get some medium uh, refresh rate. And you know what I'm saying? You could put this at low graphics and you can get some pretty decent gaming out of this thing when you with the three gigabytes coupled along with the 32 gigabytes of RAM, ROM as well. So I definitely did like to play some of my favorite titles on here, like Bomber Friends, which is like a follow-up of the original game from nintendo remember that game right Bomberman from the, the original nintendo 64 or whatever like that but that this device does run this game pretty smoothly there wasn't any really headaches or hiccups or anything of that nature but i was really impressed with the text messaging the keyboard felt really good when i was text messaging there was a there was a semi good uh vibration haptic when you were typing on the keyboard we do get really good speakers on phone calls voice dial you could do you know what I'm saying? Things of that nature to customize it because it is Android 11. And you know what I mean? They do give you the watch, the stopwatch, the top, the regular watch, alarm clock, calculator, and things of that nature, calendar. So you could kind of just organize your day as you go. And like I said, it's not going to be something that's going to break the bank or anything like that. If you're looking to give somebody a phone for maybe Christmas or their birthday or something, this is probably like the perfect one because they could choose any network carrier that they want to use with it because it's completely unlocked, right? And they could use it on T-Mobile, you know what I'm saying, AT&T. Anything of that nature, not Verizon Sprint or Boost, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't actually accept all the unlocked devices and things of that nature. They actually work on the Verizon network, which is CDMA. And this is that GSM unlock device, right? So it's going to be really good for people that want to use the GMS network unlocked. And I definitely think it does suit the bill when it comes to like gaming, graphics, and performance at a low graphics quality rate. Because it is powered with that Power VR GE8320 at 
650 meg megahertz, right? So it's definitely going to be pretty decent. Holding in the hand just feels really nice, reminiscent of some of the old older devices that had this form factor. We do have side bezel. We do have a chin and a forehead on this thing, as well as a 3000 milliamp hour battery. And I was able to squeeze like three days of standby time on this with minimal usage. But when I did go hard on it, I was able to get about a day and a half to two days on this thing, right? The split screen mint window also does really work well. When you swipe up with three fingers, you can get to that. Or you could just do it the traditional way by actually swiping up halfway and holding for two seconds or something like that. But you could see, you could reverse the screens, which is cool. They have this toggle, which lets you open, close apps, go back to the other recent apps so you can actually pick another app or just close it out completely and I, and I was impressed with the with the speeds and everything like that like I didn't have there wasn't too much wait time and honestly the picture quality was up to par compared to some of the phones that I've seen in the past the panel was decent when looking at the colors because it has that IPS TFT 16 um you know what I'm saying different types of um, color ranges 60 hertz display on here as well so it's not going to be like the best for scrolling or something like that but it is definitely pretty responsive and out of the box when it comes to storage this device is going to be only taking up 9.8 i think or something like that of system memory so when it comes to the system memory it's definitely going to be pretty decent because i didn't use up the entire storage on this device when i did download all my apps like business apps um, you know what I'm saying shopping apps social media apps music and multi you know things of that nature so I did download all my apps even some games on here and I still did have 11 gigabytes left of memory so you can actually put an SD card slot in here the weather right and you, you get that dedicated button for your Google assistant as well so i definitely think that was pretty cool because i use that thing a ton for when i'm just trying to get quick commands and i don't want to type out full sentences i could just speak to the phone or whatever but if something if privacy is an issue for you then you know what i'm saying i really don't know what to tell you you could probably just put a vpn on your phone and you probably could be more secure or something like that but i, I just use that for convenience and i really do like the keys on here they actually feel really nice small form factor on this thing it doesn't have too much grip, like, but it's so small that it won't fall out of your pocket. You could put this in some gym shorts. It even fits in like most front pockets and things of that nature. And it does have a rear facing flash on there where you could put on auto, you know what I mean? Or you could turn it off or on. So I definitely like that for pictures in the nighttime or something. But most of the time I was just using that without the flash because it does, you know what I'm saying? give you that 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 glare on there when you're taking pictures afterwards but like i said you know if this thing did have some flaws it would be the fact that you know what i mean it does have that 720 display if that's something that's going to bother you also micro usb right now as well no nfc on here and the 5 gigahertz wi-fi isn't on here but we have the 2.4 one so i definitely think that's pretty cool as well but like i said this thing does run pretty smooth it does run pretty cool it doesn't run hot it does get warm though when you start to game on it or use it for like more than an hour straight or something like that or just watching youtube for an hour straight but it does have really good optimization really good battery good memory optimization and you know a really nice interface very stock and it didn't come with any bloatware whatsoever so there was no bloat on this thing at all and i was really impressed with that um, part about it because a lot of the phones that you get nowadays will have the carrier bloat or they'll have the uh you know what i'm saying third party apps on there installed that you can't get rid of but this one just comes basically bare bone butt naked so i did like the fact that it did have that and it was just pretty much you know what I mean? Like really, really stripped down, like I said before. But if you did find this video helpful in any way possible, make sure you hit the like, subscribe for more videos, become part of the crew if you're new, and do me a quick favor, hit the bell as well. Subscribe and get notified, and I'm going to get right back with you. Later, bro. Peace. I'll, I'll check you guys in the comment section.